Hi there, welcome to Kevy Shaves. Nice to see you and it's nice to be back here in the bathroom. Um, I just want to say before the shave starts, my heart goes out to the people of Ukraine at the moment. Um, terrible things going on there, but yeah, everyone's thinking of you all uh, and I hope there's a, a quick um, resolve to all the, the nonsense that's going on there. Just uh, crazy, yeah. Okay, let's uh, get to the shave. Um, I've got a new soap and I've got quite a rare razor um, that not many people, I've not seen many of them in videos. I, I don't actually know if there's any <laughs> videos of it, um, but I'll show you in a second. Let me show you the soap first. A new one for me uh, from Lothar Grooming in the UK and this is uh, Kadota. Yeah, it's basically just Dakota, but it's got a little bit confused and uh, it's called Kadota. <laughs> See what I did there? Dakota, Kadot, sorry. Uh, yeah, here it is here. Uh, this is a new one uh, from Johnny at Lothar Grooming. I like these tubs, beautiful matte black finish. Yeah, from a UK artisan. I've scooped a little bit out there. There's the, pro the pour there. The um, Let me show you a little bit from the Lothar Grooming website about the description of the soap and the ingredients. So that's the description there. Um, yeah, the, the notes on this are green grassy notes, a clean floral accord, uh, fresh green fig accord, uh, cedarwood and vetiver. It, it's um, an unusual scent. It's nice. I like it. It's not overly um, grassy. It's a green grassy note. So it's not like, it doesn't smell um, like really, really grassy. It's kind of, earthy and a little bit floral and it's a pleasing scent. You get the fig fig notes in there as well. Yeah, I like it. It's nice. I know that um, Lothar Grooming soaps perform very, very well. So um, I've got some in my yellow bowl here. And what I've done is I've put some in the bottom there and I'm just blooming it. So I'm going to gather the soap in the brush. I'm not going to bowl lather as such, uh, but I'll show you how we do that. So there's some water in there. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. I'm going to use that as bloom water. Let me show you the brush. Um, it's soaking in the sticky toffee pudding super soaker. Uh, this is the Heritage Collection Ever Ready 200. Uh, there we go. The Heritage Collection. Yeah. Uh, Neil Breed makes these brushes. Uh, they're all made with a nod to the vintage brushes of years gone by. This is the Everready 200 uh, double halo ring, I think it's called. Has a two band 24mm badger in it. Badger knot, yeah, great brushes. Uh, Neil's very easy to deal with and the, I think you could get some of them in West Coast shaving, stuff like that. I'll, I'll have a look for links and I'll put the links for everything. Yeah, I've used this before but not for a long, long time. There is your beautiful, beautiful, beautiful brush. Yeah, it's not really coming across on the camera. But um, it looks great. Right, so I'll just put that back in the water. Right, the, that's the soap and the brush. Let me show you the razor. Have you seen one of these before? You might have, you might not have. Um, this is the Merker Slant, the 37C. Not the C, this is the G. 37G. Yeah, this is it in gold. Um, these are quite rare. They, they've they stopped making them now. They haven't made them for a long, a long, long time. Um, but I managed to source uh, a few of these razors. So I bought them all and sold them on to some people. Some people have them now. I gave a couple away. Uh, so yeah, if you have one, hold on to it because they're quite rare. Uh, a two-piece razor comes apart like that. There we go. Yeah, look at that. Uh, the blade I'm going to be putting in that is a Gillette London Bridge. So we should just get that out. There it is. London Bridge Super Stainless, innit? It? It's going in the bloody riser, innit? It? Right, there we go. That's the blade there. Yeah, 37G to go with my 34G. And I also have a I think it's a 23G or an 11G, something, another gold one. 
So um, there it is there, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful razor. Yeah, you can see the slant on it there. Yeah, you don't see these too often. Most people have the 37C, which is the chrome. This is the G. This is the G. G, that's a nice looking razor. Thank you. <laughs> right, that's that load up. I will say, every time I use a slant, I always get weepers down here. But um, let's see if, how we go with this. I've not used the slant for a while, but I love that. Look at the shine on it. It looks like you could take the wrapper off and it'd be, there'd be like a, a chocolate razor inside it if you, were, if you were to peel it back. I really honestly wish that's what it was, but it's not. It's it. <laughs> right, let's take this bloom water and uh, we'll apply it to my face, like so. And like so. Yeah, it's a nice scent on the soap. Right, that'll do. So this will act as a, a kind of like a base for the soap. Yeah, so you can do this this way if you if you don't want to put a brush in your soaps. Some people don't like put water in their soap, so you can put it in the bowl, put a little bit of water on the top of it, use the water as a kind of pre-shave, and then what you'll have is this kind of loose, all this loose soap. It'll, it'll look quite gungy and stuff, but what to do then is get the brush, shake out most of the water, and then just try and collect a soap that's in the bowl there into the brush. So you're not looking to really create the lather in there. You're just looking to just press the brush, scoop the soap up into the brush, into the bristles like that. See, so most of the soap's out there. So then what you do, just start painting it on. Now I know Lothar grooming. I know their soaps are very thirsty. So I'll just paint this in first and then we'll start adding water. How are you people? How are you good people? Yeah, this uh, world has gone mad. With the stuff that's going on. Right, let's start painting in water. looking to paint the water in. People will be saying, I could have had a, a six pass shave by now, Kevy. I know, I know, but just relax. Just take your time. Just take your time. Yeah, this scent is a, it's, it's a hard one to describe, but it's, to me, it smells quite pleasing because of the, I think it's because of the fig, the fig notes in it. Right, you can see the, the shine on that. So I'm just gonna, Play the brush. And build the ladder. My voice got very deep there, didn't it? Build the ladder. <laughs> Do a little bit more water, just dipping the tips. This brush feels lovely. Yeah, very slick on the hands. So I'm just splaying the brush and then painting it a little bit. And then splaying it and then painting. Now 
This is my uh, favourite part of the. Let me just uh, put my pants up. <laughs> I don't want. I don't want you getting a view in that mirror. The 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 mirror. The uh, the shower screen. I don't want you to get the, the full moon. You know. <laughs> I'd probably get banned from YouTube. Why did you get banned? Filming. <laughs> right, a little bit more water. And I think a little bit more. Yeah, as you can see, look, it's a... Uh, Looking great now. Yeah, this is the uh, V2 base from Lothar, the version 2 base. Uh, the first base was good, but some people said it wasn't much of a scent, it wasn't strong enough for um, their taste. So I think Johnny ramped up the scents a little bit. Wow, look at that. Um, yeah, so I would say the scent on this is about a six. That's beautiful. Yeah, it's great to see a, a a UK artisan making soaps like this, putting his um, heart and soul into it, passion. Look at that. Right, that looks good. Look at that brush. Beautiful. Right, let's get a little heat into the, the blade of the 30 and the 37G. Right, let's go with this. Wow, that is one slick soap. Yeah, for those that have used uh, Lothar grooming, you'll know. Um, you'll know how good it is. Great protection. Yeah, easy to rinse. Just great. I think the, uh, the key to getting the best out of these soaps is really the water, adding the water. Uh, and then it, it really reaches its kind of full potential then. You know, if it's still a bit dry and a bit pasty, it's, uh, it doesn't perform as well, well for me personally. Some people like their lathers like that, but if you add water, it makes it slicker. Yeah, this is feeling nice. Feels good. First pass. Let's see. Whoa. Oh, slick baby. It's slick. Right, let me rinse and come back for the second pass. Okay, that's that rinsed off. Yeah, residual slickness off the scale. Whoosh. Whoosh. <laughs> right, back to this brush. Look at that. Yeah, I think um, 
Johnny's done really well with these soaps. Um, and I, I think I said before, he uh, he listens. You know, like the first batch that came out, people were saying, well, they're not strong enough scented, so he listened and he changed it. I think he's done a few collaborations actually with uh, a couple of um, shaving vendors in the US exclusive to them so it's a great little brush really good right get the, back with the uh, 37G across the growth how are your shades going? It's uh, Friday as I film this, so the weekend is here, almost. Which is a, a good time to shave, you know, maybe have more time. Yeah, there's a little bit overhang on this, as you'll know if you've used the 37G or the 37C. And Merker. Yeah, I found these razors. In a, one of the London stores, it was a in a like right at the back of a cupboard, um, and I was looking, saying, "I oh, was like a thirty-seven G, a thirty-seven C in gold." I was like, mm, "Okay," so I asked the guy to see it, and uh, he brought it out, and uh, I said, "Do you have any more of these?" He says, "Let me check the stock," and they did. They had about another. Four or five. So um, I did a little deal with them. Did a little deal, you know, a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Dan and that old London, I said, uh, I'll take them all. How much you want for them all? The geezer says, Well, you couldn't afford it, mate. And I says, I'll bet you I could. And he said, All right, 250,000. I said, I can't afford it. He said, I told you. I just made my excuses and left. <laughs> no, he didn't. He gave me a good price for them all, so I just bought them all. And I sold them on to other people that wanted them. Um, so, so some people have these now. Um, but yeah, very good. I don't know what I'm going on about. <laughs> that feels amazing. Right, let me rinse I'll come back for pass number three. But more chat, more bitterish, you know. It's, it's, it's easy to do it, isn't it? Talking like this all the time to you people out there. Where are we going next then, Kevy? I don't know. Well, this soap is, it's Kadota, but it's like Dakota that's got mixed up. I don't know. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, rinsed off. Nicely. Back to this brush. Yeah, you can see, look, it's still uh, releasing the lather fine. Yeah, you don't want a massive voluminous lather anyway for the, the second and third pass. It's just the first one you kind of looking for the most protection to take all the hairs off. You're just looking for slickness now and there. Uh, this Lothar Grooming Soaps, these Lothar Grooming Soaps have it in, in abundance. Big words, Kevy, abundance. How many letters are that? One, two, three. Ab, up, d, up, nine. Ooh, good for you, Kevy. 
Right, okay. Here we go, against the growth. Yeah, this is usually when the reapers happen for me with a, a slant razor. But we'll see how we get on. Got the new wig made. Yep. Got a new wig made. This feels nice. Nice blade as well. Yeah, look, Weeper. Yeah, I've not used a slant razor for a while. I've had this for about two or three years. <laughs> I've just never used it. Um, I saw it today and I thought, right, let's get in and out in today. I'm sure I read somewhere that they stopped uh, making the the G, 37G, in about 2011, so over 10 years ago now. So, uh, to find one, or to find a few, it's quite, quite, uh, quite rare, quite a find. Right, that feels good. Let's have a little feel about it. Let's see if there's any pick up schmick ups. Yeah, usual spot, right. Where am I high there? Yeah, just on the neck here. Do you have a gold razor? What one do you have? A lot of people have the uh, 34G, which is beautiful as well. I like a gold razor, I really do. It just looks classy. Doesn't make you feel any classier, but it looks classy. Right, that feels good. But there. Excellent. Okay, let's see how much. Uh, let's see how much of the Kadota this brush gives up. Yeah, look a little bit too much water in there, but that's okay. Beautiful. Right, there's enough for a face wash. Mmm, a great scent. Right, I'll wash my face in this. Rinse it off with hot and cold, clean out the gear, see for the post. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I tell you, the post shave feel from that soap. Skin feels like silk. Really good. Right, on to the aftershave, which is the matching splash, but this is a, a new formula from Lothar. Um, this one has alcohol in it. I think in the past Johnny was all about sort of skin food and stuff like that but people again people said they wanted uh, 
they like the burn from the, the, the splash. So this one has alcohol in it. So I don't know how that will be for like shipping it overseas and stuff like that. I don't think you can do that, but um, I'm not sure if you contact Johnny, he'll be able to advise you on that or maybe have a look at the website. But here is matching splash. Uh, I'll show you the ingredients of the splash. There we go, that's the ingredients. Um, they're on the bottle here as well, but probably easier just to show you from the website. So uh, let's go with this. Oh, breaking the new seal, a splash. Nice restrictor. Right, let's have a good glug of this. Whoa, I can smell the alcohol, all right. Ah, nice burn. Oh. It smells exactly like the soap. Once you get that initial blast of alcohol, you can really smell that and then... It, um, but I think in the past, Johnny's splashes were a little bit, because of the skin food sort of um, side of it, they sometimes felt a little bit oily, uh, but this one doesn't. Wow. It still has that skin food properties, but... Oh, you get the initial hit of burn and then... Oh, smells great. Really good. Oh, go on then. <laughs> Put some on the wig. Here we go. And that's the shave. Pretty close, pretty good. Feels great, feels great. Right, let me show you what I've used. Start with the shave with the sticky duffy boots of soaker. Uh, and the brush we used was the EverReady 200. Uh, sorry, I just knocked it over there. <laughs> EverReady 200 uh, replica brush from uh, Heritage Shaving, Heritage Collection. You can see that on the, the bottom there. Yeah, fantastic brush. Uh, a little badger knot, really good. A nod to the past. Excellent. I really like it. Looks great. Uh, that was the brush. Uh, we bowl lathered. Um, no, we didn't bowl lather. We put the soap in the bowl and then we gathered it on the brush and then brought it to the face. Uh, the Soap Lothar Grooming Kadota. Absolutely stunning. Really, really good. Yeah, it's um, it's not like a really strong cologne type scent. It's just nice. It's just pleasing. It's very nice. Yeah, there we go. Thank you, Johnny, for sending us through. Appreciate that, mate. Um, yeah, I love these tubs. Very um, classy looking. Lothar Kadota. Try it, it's good. Uh, the razor was the Rare 37G, Merker 37G. The slant, you can see the slant there. Yeah, wonderful. First time for me <laughs> using it. Uh, two piece razor inside that uh, second use um, Gillette London Bridge. Um, yeah, there we go. There's the razor there. Looks great, doesn't it? I love a gold razor. Good stuff. Um, three passes, pickups, face wash, rinse it off, uh, post shave, Lothar, Kadota, matching splash. This is a new one with alcohol in it. Um, so a little bit of burn, um, but feels good. Yeah, it feels really good. I actually don't need a balm, it's, it feels like I've got a balm on there. Yeah, I can still smell it. Okay. That's all for me for today. Thank you very much uh, if you're still here. Um, I've got a couple of new things coming in the post uh, that I want to show you. Might be a bit different from the things I usually review and stuff like that. Well, not review, just give my thoughts on. Uh, so, but I'm looking forward to it um, because it's all shaving related, shall we say. What does that mean? Well, you have to watch and find out. Right, okay. Have yourselves a wonderful, 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 wonderful weekend. Um, if you're watching this at the weekend, have yourself some great shaves. Uh, look after loved ones. And um, remember to keep the people of Ukraine in your thoughts and prayers. Uh, and uh, let's hope that um, everything gets sorted out and soon. And uh, yeah, just horrible, horrible. Right, okay. Have yourselves a great weekend. And I will see you in the next video. Until then, take care.